working? Yeah, can you oh, see me? Okay, great. This is just a test. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, I will edit it uh, once we are done. So anyway, you just- Do you use video for this? Um, or is this just a, a sound interview? Okay, you have two choices or both. <laughs> It, my intention was to have it done uh, both audio and video. Oh my goodness! Okay, I'm so sorry. I, I've right. had meetings this morning, so I don't, I'm not even like done up at all. <laughs> okay, that's okay. No. Is it okay if we just do audio? Well, we'll do audio for this round, and then we'll probably do a, a video next time. That's okay. With okay. You. So, anyway, great. It's good to see you. Uh, good. Welcome to the National Quiz Choice. And uh, so, uh, I I love the, the the music that you've composed, and really it's it's really something. And it took you quite a while to get to where you are today. Um, so tell me, Liz, uh, what actually gives you the drive uh, and you know the uh, the inspiration to write these songs? That's a good question. Um... The drive um, to write these songs is is usually an overwhelming feeling that I want to express and share with uh, my listeners, and um, that's what really you know brings me to my guitar or my or my piano and and fuels the writing process. Um, but my my drive to continue in this crazy lifestyle, um, this you know touring all the time, and that's really just um, my love of people and and. And meeting people and sharing stories and just finding that we have something in common even though we may have never met before uh -huh. so that's really what keeps me going it's amazing now you came to nashville uh and so you know you to find um your way around in establishing your career as a musician um were there any mentors uh that actually guided you along the way down to nashville specifically um, both in Nashville and before your time in Nashville? Well, you know, um, I went to Berkeley College of Music in Boston and I studied there for four years and I had um, several teachers who really have um, taught me a lot and inspired me and kept me going along the way. Uh, Livingston Taylor is is a great example. He's um, a, teach, a professor at Berkeley and also a touring musician, a, a recording artist, obviously, and um, he's been an, a great mentor and taught me so much about the music industry and performing and songwriting and playing guitar and singing. And he's been a huge mentor. And he's actually, um, he actually first brought me to Nashville a couple of years ago to sing on one of his songs. And I met a lot of really amazing Nashville musicians. So that was one of my first big trips to Nashville that I really, uh, it really made me want to be oh, wow. here. Now, Liz, tell me, um, What's the philosophy of music to you, and, and you know what? What? Why is music as a as a musician and songwriter? Mm, that's a good question. It's okay. Take your time. Music. <laughs> music is you know expressing emotions that you may not have otherwise expressed, and um, I think it's a beautiful way to to connect as humans and um, just, wow, that's really, no one's asked me what is music before. <laughs> um, you know, I saw, I read a Billy Joel quote the other day that I thought um, perfectly described how I thought of music and I actually shared it on my Facebook page because I thought it was very powerful. Um, can I show that quote? Yeah, sure. Share that quote with you? I love this because I think it perfectly sums up how I feel about music. Um, let's see. It says, I think music in itself is healing. It's an explosive expression of humanity. I thought that was a really amazing way of describing music because that's, that's how I feel about it. And an expression of humanity. That's why it's so, that's why it's so um, thrilling for me to share you know, my feelings, because I, I feel connected then to so many other people just by, do you, you know, you, Do you feel myself. that music has some sort of a spiritual connection to your soul while you're writing it? 
Yes. When, when I'm, it depends. Obviously I, I don't always get that feeling and I wish that I did, but there are some times when I, where I don't know where the music's coming from. And I, I can honestly say when people are like, Oh, how'd you write that song? I don't remember it. It literally happened in one night and it just felt like it fell into my lap. And uh, you know, those are typically the songs I cry right through because I don't understand it. And I it just let it happen. And those are the ones that, um, have actually been the most successful because I feel like they just came to me. They're very natural. Um, but there's definitely something that you can't explain about the process wow. when it's now, magical. The process is that taking you to, to point A to point B. Um, you know, how, how long does, has it taken you uh, thus far since, since you began? And do, when you look back, have you do you have any uh, regrets? Hmm. Um, when you say taking me this far, do you mean like how long has it been since I started? You know, my musical yeah, journey. Right. Is that what you mean? Okay. Uh, well, when I was fourteen, I decided that I had written my first song, and I and I knew right then that it was what I wanted to do with my life. I had absolutely no question in my mind, and that's when I started to think about where I wanted to go to college and where I wanted to study music. And, um, that was a decade ago. So I guess you could say I've been doing this for a decade, but, but really, um, I graduated college in, in 2010. That's when I got to do it full time. So, um, I guess almost three years. Um, but you know, it all started when I, when I started writing the, for the first time and my dad is a musician and he really helped me, um, in my in my musical growth my mom always wanted to be a singer so she helped me too and there's always music around the house so a lot of things have contributed to it over the years do i have any regrets um i always wish that i had more time to practice i still want to practice more and write more but i have no regrets there are things i still wish to do but i think you know i've made my mistakes and um you know it's the kind of career path that there's no written plan there's not something you know, it's not in concrete what you have to do to be successful. And so there are definitely mistakes made along the way, but I've learned from all of them. And um, every every day is a learning experience. Okay. So I don't have any now, regrets. Were there, because I saw that you've written some, some uh, of the songs that really you know, resonate uh, in me and also to my listeners. Um, could you tell us uh, at least two of your songs uh, that you've composed and uh, that because it has brought so much meaning and and also we like to know what what, what are the stories behind it. Yes. Mhm. Mm um. Well, one of, every most every of my songs has a personal story, but um, I'd say "Unraveling" is a song that um, there's a real story behind that because I. I was writing that song when my grandmother lived with my family and she had Alzheimer's. And at the time I didn't know anyone else who had a loved one going through that. And I felt like music was the only way I could heal from watching her go through such a hard time. So I wrote a song about that. It's called Unraveling. And I hesitated to share it for a long time because I thought it was so personal. I didn't think anyone would relate to it. Um, and my mom encouraged me to play it out. And I finally did and was overwhelmed with the response. I couldn't believe how many people we're going or you know we're going through this watching their loved ones go through alzheimer's so um that's definitely a song that um came from a true place and i hope connects with listeners um another one is uh, a song called little white house and it's a song about growing up and leaving home and you know not being a little kid anymore and having to be up in the real world but um well yeah is there another yes. song that you How had about the when you were wondering you got trouble that, that song is mostly really something <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i wrote when you've got trouble uh a couple years ago when i was home on um i think i was home on break from college and um my my boyfriend at the time was going through a hard time and i just thought when he has trouble you know i i feel it you know i feel every everything he goes through and uh, um so I, that was one of those songs where I don't know where, like, I know where it came from because it came from that feeling, but it was, I literally wrote it in one night sitting in my room and, um, you know, it was just a magical songwriting experience. Um, but yeah, that was a backstory. Just, you know, you know, feeling what my 
what my well, loved ones were going through. It's well, I am, I am, I am awed by what you have expressed and the stories that you said. Um, is there any advice for Thanks. aspiring songwriters uh, and and artists that wish to follow your footsteps? Uh, could you could you give like three three key three key points on this? Sure. Um, there are several things that I've, you know, told myself through this musical journey that have kept me going. And one is to always be yourself because you can't, you know, there's a saying that's, it's like, it's better to be the number one you than the number two of someone else, you know? So I always just try to be myself and in a world where, you know, the people who are famous are, are so in a different you know, league than I am. I don't understand it and I, I feel disconnected from it. So I just, just try to remind myself, be yourself. Second thing is, um, is to be honest and real. Um, I, as a songwriter, I feel like you have so much more potential if, if you're just expressing things that are true to you. And that kind of falls into, you know, be yourself, be, be you. Um, and number three, obviously work constantly. Uh, I'm someone who, um, you know, I, I, I feel driven to work toward my goal every single day of, of, you know, reaching more people with music. Obviously, you have to learn to relax and, and live your life sometimes. But I, I think that if you really want to be a successful musician, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication, and you have to be willing to do Thank that. Thank you so much uh, for joining us here, Liz. And um, tell me something, uh, Liz Longley, um, what is, what's next for you right now? Well, in February, I'm releasing um, my fourth full-length album, but it really feels like my first album. It feels like the first thing I've ever been able to make that I'm extremely proud of and hopefully will be proud of for years to come. Um, and I was able to make that um, thanks to some very generous fans. Um, so I'm extremely excited about what this CD will bring and, and can't wait to share it with everyone. It's it's called Liz Longley. Very creative, right? And uh, oh, great. it'll be out so February folks, 26th. So folks, please do catch hold of Liz Longley's... Uh new album uh, either on Amazon or on her website and uh, really do visit uh, her uh, Facebook as well and uh, Liz one more thing is before we go uh, do you have any uh, dreams of uh, winning a Grammy Award <laughs> but, yeah <laughs> that's a funny question uh, <laughs> you know I think a lot of people have that in their mind as as a huge dream but i i never honestly thought of it as something that was realistic for me um but uh i would absolutely love that i'm i feel awkward even saying that i would like that because i don't feel like i deserve it but if the day comes where that's something that um is possible i would absolutely love that i'm actually having dinner tonight with um the a woman who runs the Grammy chapter in Nashville. So that'll be my first experience with something Grammy related. So Same wish me you. luck. <laughs> and, um, we, we look for uh, more of your work. And uh, that's that. So anyway, Liz, uh, now that we have ended our program, I just need to ask you this. Um, uh, would you be available for, for, for a video interview sometime later? Yes. Um, uh, sometime later today. Or can we do, I'm actually getting ready to leave for a, a cruise mm -hmm. for a week, a music cruise that I'm doing. Um, yeah, can we do it when work. I get back? Yeah, that yeah. Would work? So your music cruise will end sometime, yeah. uh, probably two weeks from now or something like that? Oh no, it's, uh, it starts on Sunday and it ends on Sunday and I should be back in Nashville on here, I have the date. Um, let's see. I hope that was okay. Are you going to edit some of it? Because I I definitely no, started okay. over a few I, times. I, no, so sorry I, I about that. I will be that. editing it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, what about, um, does yeah, January 24th work, work for you? For yeah. Yeah, so do you want to do the same time? time? Yeah. And, uh, okay. Wonderful. No, it's Thank okay. You so much, and, yep, I got what I needed, but I have to take a look at it again. And uh, no, no, it's okay. It was 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 great talking to you and catching up with you finally. 
Uh, yes, but I'm so sorry, yes. but the, the award is going to the address that you gave me. So it's, uh, it's. <laughs> that's totally fine. Thank you. I believe that's my Pennsylvania. That's where my parents live and they're always home. So that's why I had it sent there because okay. I'm never here. So, <laughs> and they. That's okay. So that I, I used to, I used to, I used to work at Nashville, Tennessee for quite a while. Uh, I, I, I used to be in the music industry, oh, but cool. I, I left and uh, doing some other thing for a long time now. Yeah. What? Cool. Uh, so not, how long I was did you only live there in for Nashville? a couple of years, and I was there because of Bob Carlisle, and uh, so that was a long time ago. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, it's, very it's cool. Just, it's, uh, we all we all go through the same cycle. <laughs> But but I, but I was but I'm not a singer. Yeah. I'm just a, a an artist manager, come everything else, and so so that's okay. But, wow. Uh, but yeah. So so how is Nashville right now? It's good. It's a, it's really. Oh, it's a when when did you move? Uh, I, I, it's we we're Have talking about here? more about fourteen oh, okay. years ago. Okay. Well, I, you know, I've only been here for uh, about a year now, but I, uh, people that have been here longer have said that it's really, um, it's really changed. They said, you know, it's, they're a lot more open to yes, other I, genres I, I of music than they you. used to be. So yeah, it's really cool to see, but it's, it's, it's an amazing community. I feel I lived in Boston then I lived in New York for a little while and I just feel like the music scene here is much more welcoming and it feels like a family and, it's close knit and yep. I really I love it. Agree. It's a really cool town. Once again, Liz, yeah. we'll catch you soon and uh, I look forward to your new CD at the same time. And uh, Thank you so, so much. Hopefully, one day you'll come to Singapore to perform. You know, I would love I would that. Say. I would love that. Oh, you do? You have some have friends some here? Friends. Oh. Okay. Yep, a friend from Berkeley. So. I don't know how long she's gonna be there, oh, okay. but she's from yeah. there. I know she's you there should, now. Uh, you should try to come to Singapore one day, and uh, it's oh, it's a, it's 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 changed as well, and uh, and I look forward to uh, mm. yeah, like I said, I look forward to doing the the next interview with you, and that will, then that will be, I think that will be more awesome. <laughs> Cool. Sounds good. I'll be. Uh, I'll have no, my makeup no, no, and my no, hair okay. done. Sorry you about that. It's a uh, you know the uh, the makeup is not really a problem. My fans love you. <laughs> well, I look forward to it. L Thanks likewise. so much, Robin. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye.